A special thanks to Matthew Wadstein for showing me the solution to this and also for just understanding the utility of material parameter collections. So there are basically four pieces to the setup. So the first is what's called a material parameter collection. You can get to it here. And I put in two scalar parameters for radius, the radius of how much you want to mask. And then the hardness is from 0 to 100, the sharpness of the blend, and then the sphere location, like where that mask is actually going to take place in the world. Then I created a really simple material function where you can search for a collection parameter. And I just got the three different collections collection parameters from that sphere mask material parameters collection. We got to then take that material function and plug it into whatever master material you are using. And I did that via set material attributes here. Now, the one other thing you need to make sure to do on your materials is use a blend mode of masked because by default, they're probably opaque. And last but not least is the blueprint itself that's going to define the size of whatever you're masking. And I did that via a collision sphere. And then I have two exposed parameters for hardness and radius so that I can set those in the world. And initially, I did all this setup on the construction script, but then I found in order to make it work on begin play, I needed to put it on begin play. And for each of these three nodes here, you can just search for set vector parameter value or set scalar parameter value, and you can set the values of the those fields directly on your material parameters here. You put those all together and what do you got? You got a blueprint where you can adjust the radius. So if I wanted to make this extra large and yep, it just masks whatever materials are using that function.